Uh, yeah. I mean, just you know, just few pieces that we need to needed to fix. Uh, but uh, it's definitely something that we we didn't want to happen as soon as we did. Yes. Justin, I know you've talked about it throughout the season, but a couple of players yesterday just commented on how close this team was and how that kind of makes it sting a little bit more. Oh, for sure. This team was definitely close. Um, you know, our, our team chemistry is, is something that we uh, emphasized on uh, as soon as KO came into the building. Uh, so it's definitely one of the closest teams that I've been around. So it's definitely tough to get this type of loss, you know, just, just knowing that we're so close as a team and uh, that we wanted to, to be on that uh, Super Bowl platform. Can you look at this year, Justin, 13 wins, winning the division, do you call it a success? Uh, I mean, yeah, we had a good season. You can call it a good season. I wouldn't call it a success. You know, everybody uh, wants to get to the Super Bowl. Everybody, you know, that's the success uh, of the season. Uh, but, uh, I mean, you can say you had a, a good run at the, the Super Bowl and uh, where you want to go at and uh, where the future could bring you. Uh, so uh, that's not, you know, exactly what we wanted. But, uh, you know, it, it's definitely, you know, good to look back on that and, you know, seeing the good things out of it. Justin, you talked about this being your first postseason that you were enjoying. How does the loss feel? Any different than the other ones, especially where you guys had higher hopes for this team? Uh, I mean, to me, I can't speak for everybody else. A loss is a loss, uh, regardless if it's in a regular season or if it's in the playoffs. Uh, I hate to lose. Uh, I'm a competitor. I always was a competitor uh, as a little kid. So, uh, you know, even losing that board games, I, I, I hate it. So just losing and, and just not being able to, to, you know, compete for the goal we always, you know, uh, compete for uh, is definitely something that, you know, it hurts. How much time did you take? You're eligible for an extension, contract extension after this season. Is that something you want to do, expect to do, or take if it happens, or what's your thought on that? Uh, I mean, it comes. Uh, I mean, it comes with the success. Uh, it's not really something that, uh, you know, I'm really worrying about or uh, I have my, you know, mindset on. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's just really just performing for my team, just doing whatever uh, I need to do to, to, you know, get this team to where we want to go. Um, but, you know, the money stuff, that comes with, you know, the job. In terms of here, is it, would you want to be long-term here? I mean, I, I'll be wherever, you know, I'm wanted, okay. you know. Uh, you know, if they want me here, I'm here. You know, that's not something that I can really control. You've Agreed. seen the, the wide receiver market explode in recent years salary-wise. With the season you've had, do you think you're deserving of being uh, at the top of the heap for wide receiver salaries whenever you do sign? I mean, that's, that's not my decision, you know. Uh, I mean, it is what it is. They pay me whatever they pay me. Uh, I mean, it's it's not even really, they don't even really have to give me an extension this year. So uh, it is what it is. It's, it's not really something that I'm really worrying about. Uh, I, I want to win a Super Bowl. That's that's the thing that I'm most focused on. Uh, just like I said, the money comes with the, with the job. How great a Last year was this for you, Justin, to be in a position to hopefully land a, a big contract? Um, um, just like I said, yeah, it's really not on my mind. Uh, you know, it, it comes with the success. It comes with the job. Um, you know, I'm just here to do whatever I need to do to, to make my team win uh, and to put us in, in the best situations to, to get the W. Uh, and we came short of that. So that's all I'm really worrying about at this moment is that we lost uh, and uh, we were not able to compete uh, you know, further than yesterday. So that's that's really what I'm worrying about. Uh, the money part and all of that other stuff can come at a, another time. Justin, uh, are there other things on your mind you know you can get better at this year for? Like, there's a big point to Yeah, I always can be, get better at, at things. You know, I'm not a perfect person. You know, I'm not the perfect receiver. So there's always things that I need to work on, uh, things that I, I can go back on and, and look at every single game and, you know, pick things that I can do better at. So uh, there's always room for improvement, and uh, I'm definitely going to be improving as much as possible this offseason. Justin, with the posture that's in place here, I mean, does anything feel different about the way you look at right now and the future than like a year ago at this time? Say it one more time, please. With like the culture that's in place here, yeah. does, does this feel different than you felt a year ago with kind of some uncertainty? Yeah, it's different. Uh, I, just like I said, it's different just because we wasn't even in the playoff race, you know? Uh, but actually being in the playoffs, uh, having the chance uh, to, to, you know, continue 
uh, you know, it, it, it's sick to the stomach, you know, just not being able to compete uh, further with this team, uh, the amount of talent we had on this team. Um, and, you know, it just sucks just losing, you know, just just being that competitor and, and just wanting more. Uh, it, it definitely hurts. Business. So um, as I was emotional yesterday, it's, you know, you kind of like get your wits about you, your tears dry up, and then you like look up and make eye contact with someone and you, you realize, like, I don't know you know, what what the future holds for us and them. So um, that's definitely um, part of the game that's probably overlooked by, the, you know, media, fans and stuff like that. What was Kevin's last message here this final team meeting? Um, I, I'll, um, I'll let him kind of share what, what he spoke to us about. But uh, I, I felt um, motivated. I felt like he um, tried his best to close this chapter in the book that we've been writing and um you know did it in a, he's been a great leader all season long uh, fantastic and uh, to have to get up in front of the whole building and, and, and every player and, and to try to put a period on the end of this season is uh, no no easy task and i think he he did a really good job Harrison, it's really hard when it comes to football because only one team at the end of the year really can say hey mm -hmm. you know we won the super bowl and, and doesn't have to go through this but Dalvin says it feels different this year. Does it feel different saying an early goodbye this year for you? Um, uh, yes and no. I, I can still I can still relate this to a couple other seasons that I've had. Um, but each season is unique in its own right, and so yeah, I would I would co-sign that statement by by Dalvin, and um, again just emphasize. Um, that we're, uh, we're better than, than how we played yesterday, and um, that'll be a motivator for us all off season. How much time do you take personally now to get away from football before you? Very little, uh, it's not how I operate. Um, I'll take, a, a, I think last year I took five or six days and then got back after it, so um, we'll see. Um, I normally always say I'll take like two weeks, but as soon as I wake up and I'm not in hurting and or in a crazy amount of pain, I'll, I have to get back to the gym and just start start rebuilding again. So um, I'll be doing two days here in a couple weeks. How do you, at this moment, kind of look back on the season as a whole and your decision to come here? I'm super appreciative. Um, when I hit the free agency process, I just prayed that God would pl bring me to a place that um, I needed to be at, and I didn't care what the win-loss record meant for that or what the dollar amount meant for that, just where I felt like he called me to be. And it still took a leap of faith to, to make that decision. And as the season went on, it was reinstated by so many different uh, things that happened in my life that uh, this was the best decision for me and uh, made some amazing relationships with uh, teammates and friends and staff that I love, and um, I'm really happy to be here. Spinner right now. I wasn't expecting to go home, but uh, you know that's, that's what come with it. How was Coach's message today? How was this last team meeting? Uh, the message to the same, you know, just uh, try to come back next time and go all the way. That's the goal. You know, we fell short this year, so we'll see. What's your your free agent? I guess what's kind of your thinking? Uh, are you hoping to come back or what exactly? Yeah, I mean, of course, I'll let her come back, but uh, we'll just see what happens, and uh, you know, I put my best foot forward, so we'll, we'll just see. Uh, I mean, it's still early. You know, I got to go back and watch the film the whole time. But I don't want to just put it all on the defense or what we need to change or keep. Uh, we'll just see what happens, you know. Kind of extra hard, too, knowing you're the free agent and then knowing that things are not going to be the same next year. How Good. do you deal with that this early on after a loss? Uh, I mean, it's part of the business. You know, I've been here before, so mm -hmm. I understand the nature of the business. So we'll just see what happens. But uh, meantime, I'm just going to, you know, sit back and just, you know, enjoy the offseason. Jaden, a few players yesterday talked about how it may be sung even more just because of the closeness of this team and how For much sure. fun you guys had together. Can you just talk a little bit on that aspect, the chemistry of the team? Uh, yeah, it definitely hurts. We were very close, um, especially on the defensive side of the ball. So uh, just with the nature of the NFL, we know we're all not going to come back. That's just what comes with it. So it's definitely sad, but uh, we'll link up in all season. Thank you. know that answer. Um, we won the games that we didn't win a year ago. Um, we won 13 games this year. So that's the difference. Um, the biggest difference is the culture around us. Um, you know, guys believe each and every game that we can win each and every one of them. And you know, when you got that type of coaches, you, know, you got guys that's willing to fight and, and then work it each and every week. So, you know, just appreciation for that. 
of you know wanting to come into work each and every day and enjoying it is is a pleasure to have in this league. Calvin, you've unfortunately been in the situation before where you would have to leave before you guys felt it was time. It's different though, it seems this year, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, you kind of get that feeling of like the best team didn't win yesterday. Um, and, you know that's how this league works sometimes. I always, I, I'm just proud of the guys and, you know, the, this group, 2022, I'm proud of these guys and everything we accomplished just didn't get it done yesterday and, you know, that's what it came down to. This t- takes a little bit for it to sink in, especially when you kind of had plans and, and greater goals, right? Yeah, we all did. Um, like I said, we work our tails out each and every week. You see the preparation, you see the, the focus in these guys, you see competition, the competitiveness, everything. And like I said, just yesterday wasn't the outing that we that we all expected and wanted. And, you know, sitting around and, you know, moping about it is not gonna do nothing about it. You know, just, just corrections and you know, just just loving on your brothers. That's all you could do. And just appreciate these guys so much. Dalvin, you've got a pretty big contract number. The Vikings have some salary cap issues. Are you Brace for the fact that they might come to you and ask you to do something or other with your contract moving forward? Another question that don't got nothing to do with me. That got nothing to do with Quasi, my agent, and KO. I got nothing to do with me. What does playing in all 18 games mean to you? It means a lot. It means I was there for my guys. And that's always been my goal, just to finish with these guys. I know a lot of games that I didn't finish you know, a few years ago or whenever it was. I. Uh, it's just always on your conscience that, you know, I could have helped these guys win a game. You know, I could have been out there and helped us win a game and just being available all year for these guys. That means a lot to me. And, you know, credit to the to everything we got going on around here, like the tr- nutritionist, the, the, the training room, you know, Josh and the staff. They put us in a good position to go out and feel good and go compete. How much time do you take now just to, like, lay low and not think about it? Definitely going to lay low. Um, I might go catch my little brother this weekend. Let's see, let's see him. Um, let's just, I don't know. You just kind of take as much time as you need to, to feel good mentally and, and physically. Um, this is probably one of the cleanest seasons I had, you know, coming out healthy wise. So, you know, I'm kind of proud of that. And, but just not getting the outcome. You got to kind of soak that one in and take a little time and, and digest it. Physically, how much? How do you feel compared to the end of the seasons? It's the best. Yeah. Yeah, I came out clean and good. Yeah, it was. I was there all year for those guys. Like I said, man, that was, that was my number one goal to, to finish the season off and you know be there for the guys. Yeah, you know, um, it's always different. Um, every year's different, but uh, you know, this year we weren't expecting this for sure. Ended too soon, and emotionally though as well. Yeah, for sure. Um, like I said, I'm still, you know, I'm still processing it. Um, barely slept, you know. Um, but I'm, I'm very appreciative of, of, of a lot of guys in this locker room, a lot of guys in the staff, um, training room, just people who gave me right, massage therapists. The future's up in the air. I know even Justin said it's not about the money. It's about the football first and the relationships first. For you personally, how do you look at this off season? I'm just gonna do what I do, you know. I've been I've been in this league doing it for a while now, and um, I know how to train. I know how to prepare. Um, just want to continue, uh, continue on. Um, like I said, I'm not not really there yet. Obviously, we just finished the season, but um, I'll get back to it. I've been through this before, so I don't really know how it works or what's gonna happen. But um, you know, I've expressed that I want to be here, and um, I love the offensive line room. You know, those those guys are awesome. Um, Love playing with them, love hanging out with them, love joking with them, messing with them. It's 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 awesome. So we'll see how the coming months play out. But um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. What did you do to take a, another step as a center this season and have such a solid season? You know, I think just as a unit, everything was just clicking a little better. You know, it's I had more more reps with Ezra and, and, and Ed grew so much throughout the year. Um, and we just had a good good time playing together, you know. I like to think that we're a physical group and love to play the game. You know, I love how each of us play the game. You know, I, I know how Brian and CD approach the game. I know the effort that they attack the game with. Um, it's just an awesome group to be around. 
you talk about how you haven't been through this. How is it to emotionally and mentally kind of reconcile the season ending and knowing what might be on the horizon? Yeah, it's hard. You know, you try not to think about it because you just try and live in the present. But um, could have been my last home game at U.S. Bank yesterday, which it's kind of tough to think about walking off the field. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, never been here before, so it's just a lot of emotions. Um, but love this group, love this team. It's a great organization. The fans, it's, it's awesome. What does it say about this team as a whole? Justin said it. Eric Kendrick said it. That it's not about the money. It's about more than that. The money comes, but it's about other situations that football-wise and people-wise has to happen. Yeah, there's a lot that goes into it. Um, and I'll definitely try and lean on guys like that that have been through it. Um, but I'm just kind of in the coming months to figure out what's next. I don't, I don't really know. Kind of clueless in that regard. But um, hope it all plays out, you know. Did you always think you were going to come back and play this year? No, you know, I didn't. You know, we were kind of – the trainers had me on a pretty slow ramp um, process trying to get back and uh, didn't always know, but felt great the past week um, and glad I was able to get back out there. You felt good physically in that game? Yeah, yeah, you know, it's um, definitely game, game speed. You can't really replicate that. Um, and for a few weeks there, there was only so much I could do physically, but uh, I felt good and like I said, love playing with those guys, and once you're back out there with them, it's like riding a bike. Um, so it was it was good to get that last one in. Was that pretty cool to see Brian on the, on the Yeah, that was unbelievable. <laughs> you know that was coming? Uh, a few of us did. He wanted to keep it a secret. Um, but all those chains on his neck and if y'all, yeah, that's just, <laughs> it was unbelievable. Um, so that was, that was cool that I got to recognize him because he's such a big part of who we are and what we do. Um, would have loved to have him yesterday, but uh, that was cool that he was with us in that regard. He'll never forget that, and we won't either. So, <laughs> How tough, Garrett, is it just the abrupt ending? Here you guys have your first home playoff game in a while. Everybody's confident in the 13-win season, and boom, it's just over. It's, it's I'm still trying to process it. You know, it's just it's so abrupt. It's You have such a schedule, and you know what you're doing each day of the week, and then all of a sudden, oh my bad, it's over. Um, so... Just figure out next steps now, and hopefully if you guys stick around, we can kind of hang out and digest the season and, and just kind of hang out a little bit more But before everyone kind of goes their separate ways. But that's the hard part of it because everyone just kind of goes back home, um, and it's over so quickly. But it's tough, but it's part of it. Gary, you've talked about the unknowns a couple times now. Just how tough is that that you don't know what Yeah, it's weird. Never been in this situation before. You know, I always knew I was – going to be back next year and um, love what they're building here and I'd love to continue to be a part of it but um, just see how the business plays out uh, just kind of move forward. Never mind blowing they're a good team um, we had a good week of practice did uh, we prepared well but we didn't execute when it came down to game time so it's nothing surprising when you don't go out there and play well as a whole defense so um, it's really uh, Real, it's football. Yeah, I think the times this season you've referenced the communication and miscommunications at times. Was that a consistent issue just in the secondary? Um, no, I think it was just a matter of execution. Okay. I don't think it was – we're on the same page uh, most of the time. Um, obviously, people make mistakes. Um, but really, I think everything was pretty much clean for the most part. It just comes down to execution always. Cam, this is a life-changing season for you, right here, a breakout season for you mm -hmm. in terms of your achievements. Hard to reconcile with it ending too soon. Things might be different. Harris might not be back. How are you dealing with both of those? Um, I mean, personally, for my um, me, I'm glad I was able to get this experience and be able to play so much and be able to grow as a player individually. Um, but at the, what matters most, really more than anything, I did individually, um, as far as my experience or whatever. Uh, we didn't win. We didn't. We didn't get through the playoffs like we wanted to. And make it to the Super Bowl. Everybody's goal is to go and win the Super Bowl. So whenever you come short of that, it's always going to be a disappointment. But it's always something you can learn from and grow from. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Hey, with that said, do you think you've penciled your, oh, I'm sorry. No, sorry, go ahead. You've penciled yourself the way you performed this year, penciled you in as a starter next year. Do you kind of expect that moving forward? Um, I would say penciled, yes, because nothing's ever guaranteed. So that can be erased anytime. So I have to go back, right back to work. 
um, knowing that my job is at is at risk every time I'm out, out there on the field because somebody can outcompete me. But that's my job to work as hard as I can to be able to earn everything. So really in life, everything's penciled in. Nothing's ever cement. How long do you take to digest this? Um, you, you, you don't really. It's You just carry it into your, ne your training. Um, you take time to rest your body, um, especially for me. Played a lot of snaps this year and was able to get all this experience, but being able to uh, get your season cut short but from a loss like that, um, that's you never really digest it fully. It's something that's always going to be, you always got to keep keep on working because you know that it's, it's going to, it's not going to really digest well, just knowing as a competitor we didn't get as far as we wanted to. So it's going to be, we're going to have that sick feeling in our stomachs until we're able to get it off our chest the next year, win games, and eventually go to the Super Bowl and win it. And knowing the personnel is going to be different, and most of the guys in here might be in different teams, that's hard to recognize. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the saddest part, just as human beings beyond football. These are some of your best friends. We spent every single day together. There hasn't been one, one, what, one day a week we don't see each other. And even still, half of us are still at the facility through this, what, since July. So it's like sad. He's like your brothers, your family members. You don't know who you're going to, today might be your last time you see him ever in life. So as a human being beyond the football field, it's always sad knowing that at the end of the season, this is a business and we're not, nobody here is guaranteed. Whether you played well or whether you didn't, nothing's ever guaranteed. So you got to just love your people when, when they're here. And how much does it add to the toughness that the ending was just so abrupt? I mean, you the big game and boom, it's over. Yeah, that's reality. You never really know when things will be done. So that's why you have to enjoy them while they are and work as hard as you possibly can to be able to make it last as long as possible. But um, at the end of the day, it's you have to live with what we put out there on the field. So we didn't play well enough, so we have to live with the consequence and just go right back to work.